Hey everybody, Micah here from Electrek, and today I'm reviewing the Boosted Rev electric scooter. At $1,600, it's a pretty pricey scooter, but we're going to see if the Boosted name and the quality that comes with it make it worth the price. Let's check it out. For the Boosted Rev to be worth the price, it's going to have to have some seriously good performance. With a top speed of around 24 miles per hour, thanks to dual 750 watt motors that likely have a combined peak output of over 2 kilowatts, the Boosted Rev definitely has performance on lock. It can climb just about anything and accelerates like there's no tomorrow. I've reviewed a lot of electric scooters, and the Boosted Rev is definitely in the top 10% or so when it comes to raw power and torque. The great thing about powerful motors, too, is that they also provide powerful regenerative braking. Just like Boosted's high-powered electric skateboards that offer phenomenal motor braking, the Boosted Rev also has powerful motor braking. I almost never touched the disc brake, and I pretty much forgot that the foot brake was even there. I just use the regen braking all the time because it works so well. The throttle is also really comfortable. The knurled wheel feels much like Boosted's skateboard remote throttles and offers an intuitive interface. Forward to go forwards, backwards to stop, it doesn't get much simpler than that. The Boosted Rev also has great build quality, and the entire scooter just feels like a tank. Even when jumping around on the scooter, it just felt incredibly solid. If I could make one addition, it would probably be full suspension. Boosted will tell you that the Rev doesn't need suspension because it has fat, 3-inch wide tires. I'll tell you that is half true. The tires work great at absorbing some bumps, and I was even able to do some off-roading on single track but they definitely don't replace full suspension for cobblestones or other high impact or rough terrain. Still, most people will be using their boosted revs on fairly decent streets and bike lanes. The ultimate question now is simply, is it worth it? And man, this is really a tough one. Don't get me wrong, I've been grinning ear to ear while riding around on the boosted rev all week. It's simply a pleasure to ride, and it makes a terrific commuter vehicle. But at $1,600? If it had full suspension, then I'd say it's a no-brainer. Yes, buy it. But without full suspension, I'd just give the caveat that it won't ride as nicely on really rough roads and cobblestone streets. For the majority of riders though, they'll be perfectly happy with the ride comfort on everyday streets and bike lanes. So unless your local roads are totally cratered, the fat tires on the Boosted Rev will likely be more than enough for you. At the end of the day, the Boosted Rev is of course a premium scooter. If you're on a budget, then you won't be considering the Boosted Rev, you'll be looking at $300 budget scooters. But for anyone that doesn't immediately recoil when you hear the price, then you'll likely be very happy with the Rev. And considering Boosted offers a 30-day guarantee to try out the scooter and decide if you like it, you really can't go wrong. The Boosted Rev is top quality and it's a blast to ride. Its price will certainly limit its audience, but for those that can swing it, they'll be happy they did. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.